Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Wellington. Ice coffee today. Well, finally the state of Ohio opened up the stores for non-essential using. Now, we still have to be careful. We still need to, you know, mask up and sanitize and social distance, but I can feel safe and, oh, fixing ya, comfortable going into the stores and showing you the things I picked up. I don't feel like I'm encouraging folks to go out when they shouldn't. Now, I know other states have opened at different times. I was just waiting for Ohio. Some of this stuff I picked up during the quarantine period when I went in for essential materials and supplies. Buddy, say hi. <laughs> um, but I didn't want to show them and I've been holding them for this video and I'm so excited. All right, bud. So let's get started. I have everything broken into categories and this is a pretty big haul, not gonna lie. Super excited. Um, but it's stuff that I think will be fun. So let's go. You ready, Dub? He's ready too. All right, we'll go with kitchen. I found some more of these and I love them. They're the food picks with the gold because this summer I plan on picnicking and kayaking and making myself fun lunches to go out and outside activities. And these are great for making like meat roll ups or skewers for my keto. So I grabbed two more of those because I saw them. Hi, buddy. Um, I grabbed two cans of this coconut spray. I love this stuff. It's cooking spray, but it really coats my pans. Keto stuff tends to stick and this stuff is really good for that. So I grab, I usually get two at a time and I will coat my pan pretty heavily with it. It almost looks like, have you ever used the Baker's Joy pan that has a little flour in it? It looks like that, but it's not, it's just coconut oil. Excuse me, sir. I picked up again for picnicking outside some 4th of July cups. These are just like solo cups and you get eight. So I grabbed those along with these, which I love these. I grabbed some last summer too. Um, they're made for like hamburgers and french fries and hot dogs and chips and stuff, but I use them for other things in the kitchen. And also when I picnic, they're, they're great plates that stuff won't roll off the side because they're deep. So I love putting my lunch when I picnic in something like this. And if I'm on my knees balancing, things don't roll off. So I like that for me. And while I saw them at the store, I grabbed two. So that's 12. That's plenty for me to, to use when I go outside, picnicking, whatever. Hi, sir. I grabbed some batteries. Um, this is before I bought my rechargeables. And these are okay, but they're not great for like my remotes and stuff. They burn them up too fast, but I did grab some. And I got two more food dishes for my cats. Um, these are great. I love them. The bottom is rubber, so they don't slide across the floor. They're nice and low profile, so they're whiskers and they can get in here. And they each get twice a day, so in the morning and at night, a tablespoon of wet food. And I put it in here and then these go in the dishwasher. So in essence, I'm using four bowls a day. So that's why I like to, I'm just kind of stocking up when I see them uh, to have a supply. So I'm not washing my dishwasher every day when I don't need to. Um, I have some stuff here. Oh, sorry. I got a lot of stuff, guys. I picked up some zip bags. So exciting, I know. Picnics, lunches, things like that. Good deal. Although, I'm not going to lie, a better deal. And when I go to Ikea, when they open up, I well, they should be open by now, but I'm going to wait a little while. Ikea has zip bags and they have the best deal and they are good quality. They're nice and thick, but for now, um, I picked these up for my Sarah. Just some dehydrated strawberries for her. Um, these are great. I was going to use them for me to, they're vegan by the way, but they have added sugar. So they're not going to work for me. 
Um, I could de they're dehydrated, so they're crunchy. I could have ground them up and used the powder, but they're sugar added, so I'll give them to Sarah. But I grabbed two for her. And I also grabbed her two mug cakes. She loves these. And this is chocolate hot fudge brownie with fudge topping. And this is rainbow chip cake with frosting. And they're great for a single person because she's a single lady. And these are great for her because it's just one single serving. So I, I pick her up things when I see them. Y'all know that. So I got those for her. And then these were for my coworker, and I never got them to her. And now I'm not sure when I'll see her again. But they are caramel Milky Ways, and I'll just give them to Sarah. So I have a bag of stuff for her put aside. And these things will just go in it. Um, I grabbed some more lemon pepper because I love this. And this is really good um, like when I do garlic lemon chicken or something, but I enjoy the lemon pepper. I like the tart. Um, I've been really enjoying Dalgona coffee and I use the Dollar Tree Instant. It's good. It's good. I picked up one of these for my kitchen for summer. I like these, I wash them, but honestly they're a dollar. And I liked the yellow to go with my kitchen and the watermelon. It's just summer. I hand wash some cups and stuff and this is perfect for that. So I grabbed some of those. I grabbed for my kitchen also, it's actually for adult beverages, but it says we can't all be princesses. Someone has to clap when I walk by. <laughs> it's a cup koozie. I mean, really, it's true. It has a tag on it. Let's get that off before it becomes part of. This stuff here, oh, see, it's already sticky. All right, we'll have to get the goo gone out, which I bought. I got it, don't worry. But this is cool. And then I found in the nail polish section, it's 100% acetone nail polish, but it's in a container that you push that down and it brings the fluid up and wet your cotton ball. I thought that was fabulous. Now they sell these containers, but why not for the same price, get the product to go in it. And I'm assuming I can just refill this too. Yeah. Yep. 100% acetone nail polish. So yeah. And I can just refill this container. So I thought that was fabulous. So that was it for kitcheny stuff unless i've already utilized it which is possible um i found some little fun things because who doesn't need a stuffed avocado for their backpack i mean honestly who doesn't and it's super soft to you i love it so i grabbed one of those just because being silly i picked up some more blind bags this one is Lucky Fortune, Wear Your Luck. And it's like a bracelet or a necklace. I haven't opened these yet. This is a Beanie Baby, so number two. It could be a monkey, an owl, a dog. Precious, oh, they're cute. Those are adorable. And they're just a little, I haven't opened them. So I don't know what's in there yet. And then I got a Toy Story 4 little blind bag and then this is lost kitties who's inside it's very heavy i don't know what this is we may have to open this one let's open it because it's very heavy okay it says lost kitties mice mania hundred plus to collect so that's all the ones that they have. It did come with a sticker. It says I nap right here. All right. And then it's in a separate little bag. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's got a, I feel like this might be something liquidy or slimy and that would be gross. But you take it apart, open it. I don't know how to get the lid off, guys. Ah, there we go. Okay. Oh, it's Play-Doh. 
with a little figure. I feel like it should say that it's Play-Doh, don't you? And then it comes with this bag in the middle of the Play-Doh. Oh, it is that character. So the sticker tells you what character. Isn't that cute? We'll keep that. We will not keep the Play-Doh. Right? Right. Okay, let me get that out of here. I'm not fooling around, guys. We're going to have a long video, and I'm here playing with shenanigans. I'll open the rest later. Okay. Trash. Now, householdy stuff. Household. I finally found the little planters. And it's the fox. And we're going to plant something in here. I don't know what. I don't know, but we're going to plant something in here. We're going to get a seedling or something. Maybe a succulent. But I, I liked the fox the best. We got that. I've been using this Lysol cleaner, and I bought some more. I really enjoy the scent of this, and I like that it kills 99% germs. I've already showed you this before because I this is one of the reasons I go to the Dollar Tree is for these little Lysols, the concentrates. Um, I already opened these, but I picked up some of these scrubby pads uh, for when I painted my kitchen cabinets, which you will have already seen that video. They work pretty good. They don't last as long as like the name brand, but it's fine. And they're all the same texture, I feel like. They're just a different colors, but they're great for kitchen cleaning. Uh, I picked up some summer socks. I like these for summer. It's a three pack. We'll see how long they last. Um, but I like these low ankle ones, especially when I'm riding my bicycle. So I grabbed those. A couple lighters. I need to get the longer ones for my grill. But I grabbed these for now for candles. But I like the long ones. And I found one more of these. To, um, you put your potted plants and they have wheels and you can roll them around but they also catch any overwatering or if your pot has a drainage in the bottom it'll catch any water and there's no holes in the bottom to um, to leak through and they're great I've got several of them and I enjoy them and they really roll easily so that was good excuse me sir um, I grabbed one of these. I'm going to try it. I have not yet. It is a non-slip rug. Now, they used to sell this tape stuff at the Dollar Tree that I have purchased, and I have a rug taped down with it that's slippery in my entrance, but it makes it kind of awkward when I want to mop the tile floor. So, let's see. It's definitely, like, rubbery, non-slippy. So, I think you lay it out. This is an 18 by 28 which I don't care how big it is, if it keeps the rug from sliding out from under me when I walk in the house, that's great. So we're gonna try this, I need to replace it. I buy cheap rugs for my front door and I take my shoes off when I come in the house. So it gets dirty relatively quickly and then I um, throw it away and buy a new one. So I spent like $10, $12 on cheap rugs, but it's just to catch the mud and the muck. And I leave my shoes in there. Um, I grabbed a couple more of these. I like to use them for tarps, but also like painting. I went through several painting my kitchen. Um, they're great to have on hand and they're so cheap that I use them and toss them. So I just grabbed some replacements because I went through the ones I had cleaning my kitchen. All right, I think that's it on this side. You want to see what's in the Toy Story 4? We'll do it. Let me see if I can get in it. I don't know how to open it. It doesn't have a little, like, rippy. Rip here, tear here. There we go. <gasps> oh, we got the dog. He's cute. I love these little things. I can't remember his name, but he's cute. He has a name, I'm sure. All right, we'll move over to this side. Let me get the kitchen stuff moved. And my cat bowls. Um, in the Mother's Day bathroom section, they got in a lot of new stuff. Obviously, this won't be out for Mother's Day because we weren't shopping at Mother's Day. But 
birthdays, Christmas, all kinds of stuff. And some of these stores will have these things because they people shouldn't be out shopping or had shouldn't have been out shopping. Um, so I got a bath sponge and it's a pineapple. I love these loofahs, by the way, and it's a pineapple. That was adorable. And then I grabbed, I know there's another one in here. Somewhere. I'll find it. These are that same fabric. I love a good loofah. I'm going to open this up. These are for me. I just put them in my closet. And then I, you know, every so often change them out. Ooh, has elastic on it. So you can scrub your body. And since I have very dry skin, this helps kind of slough off the, the dry that's flaking. And then if you wanted to use that side, it's softer. But I like that. And I like it better than that because I can get a better grip on it. But they're great. And it comes with a little hang hook to dry. That's the thing. You really want them to air dry. And because they're so relatively inexpensive, I don't do... Oh, here it is. I got it in gray as well. I don't... Um, like You can wash them. You just don't want to dry them. I don't because they're relatively inexpensive. So about once a month, every two months, I just throw it away and get a new one. Then we have, by Freeman, some nourishing chamomile hair mask. Thought that was good. Think about a basket, like even for Christmas or a birthday. So there's a hair mask here, which is nice. And there's a lot in these, especially if they have if your person has short hair. I could get two out of this, no problem. You know I'm obsessed with bath salts. This is activated charcoal bath salts, uh, calming, relaxing. So I think it's Epsom. Um, yeah, it's Epsom salt. So I got this and it has some charcoal in it. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but you know, whatever. I like the Epsom salt. And honestly, this is a tub for me. For my dry skin, if you have any skin issues, two cups. Yeah, this is 16 ounces. So two cups of this in your tub and let it dissolve does wonders for eczema, dry skin, muscles. But you got to use a lot. So this is a tub. I will dump this whole thing in my tub when I'm doing like that kind of a soak. Same thing with this. This is moisturizing and it has avocado oil in it. And this is this Epsom salt that they have ground finer. And this is also one pound, so it would be one tub. Now, if you don't want to use it for medicinal, you don't, you can put less in, but if I'm gonna soak in the tub, I want my skin to feel good. And so I want to do the whole shebang. I found they're in here because they smell, but they also are like leaking. But these are for the bath and these are bubble bath ball balls and they're squishy like dough. And you put this in, you crunch, break it up and throw it in your tub and it's like a bubble bath. And quite frankly, I would probably do this for my tub and then just soak. I usually bring a book with me. But I'm keeping them in here because they're kind of strong scented, which is nice. But I also don't want everything smelling. And I think they're like leaking. I'm not sure. We got some more bath salts. This is lavender. And this is, I don't think this is Epsom salt. It's just bath salts, but it smells so good. How pretty of packaging is that for a gift? Again. Like gift giving, guys. All of this stuff in a basket would be lovely for anybody. And this is not, I think this is half a pound. But again, it's lavender bath salts. I just love bath salts, guys. And speaking of bath salts, I've been collecting these for myself, but also for Christmas. These are going to be excellent stocking stuffers. These are just little Epsom salt packs. Uh, this one is nighttime aches and pain relief. It says it's concentrated mineral bath soap. So I would add this and then some extra bath salts or some Epsom salt. So I got, I just grabbed what I find each, you know, one of the times I went in, but I got three bath, uh, nighttime 
aches and pain relief. I got a tension. Oh, this is nighttime. This is tension relief. And this is muscle relief. After a long bike ride, hello. So I grabbed these because I think they would be fun stocking stuffers or gift basket additives, adder, you know, fillers, filling. So I grabbed them as I see them because again, I like taking hot baths. And I think other people enjoy it as well. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, I have more bath salt. <laughs> this is the last one. This is pink and Malayan. This is one pound. And it is sheer, pure Himalayan uh, salt. Soften and heal cracked skin, reduces swelling, gets rid of dead skin, relaxes body, cleanses well, eliminates odor. And look at that packaging. Like, isn't that awesome packaging? And it's just pink Himalayan, and you could sprinkle that in your tub as well. I don't know how much you would use of this. I'd have to research. But fun, fun, fun. Um, and then we found, I'm looking, found some, oh, these are all the face masks, bubble up, refreshing bubbly face mask, like fun. This for your coffee lover is revitalizing natural extract. It is espresso face mask. Like you can just grab this stuff now and put it away for Christmas. This is a Jasmine Orange Blossom Paper Face Mask. I love face masks, if you can't tell. These two are my personal favorites, Foot Moisturizer and Hand. These are from April Showers. These are Dollar Tree brand, and it's a foot and a hand moisturizer. Like, this is, to me, the ultimate relaxation purchases. I even got some shower fizzies just to show you. I know they don't work very well, um, I've bought them before, but they're fun and they would be a good filler in a pack in a package or a basket. I picked up some Salt Range Pink Himalayan Lip Balm in Cherry Shea Butter. Because you know I love the lip balm and there's two in that one. And then also in the orange and jasmine, I got the facial wipes and some fragrance mist which I think this would be delicious to spritz my bed with it and then when I got in bed at night oh how nice it would smell I love that and then to keep my bath salts in to gift to somebody I grabbed one of these jars with the rose lid rose gold lid and I'm going to fill it with some bath salts and I'm going to put a bow on it with some directions and I'm going to for Christmas for someone and then they're going to get some of this these salts if you wanted to do it for summer look at this bag guys is that not wonderful and it has these little handles and long it's pretty sturdy this would be a great beach bag pool bag um I'm putting all of this gift giving stuff because that person who's getting the jars is also going to get some of these and one of these bath bombs. I don't know which one. Oh, and then for the summer, <laughs> I grabbed a plastic wine glass that says wear a crown and be sweet. And it's just a plastic wine glass, but it will be perfect for a gift basket or a picnic, like I'm super into picnics this summer. Sorry, I'm getting comfy here. Um, we plan on going kayaking this summer a lot. I have a kayak, I'll bring you along if we go, but I'm packing a lunch. Um, the last thing I picked up was one of these. It's a pineapple face mask. It's I'm putting this with my travel stuff. I don't use a face mask at home, but on the airplane, you bet your bippy I do. And it's a long flight, so. I grab one of those. That'll go in my travel daily wappy. Okay, done, done, done. And oh, that was 25 minutes, guys. The last is for my office setup and craft stuff. So here's the deal with my job. We are not going back to the office full time anytime soon. We're going to be working from home and on rotation. So some of us will go in the office on different days of the week. And so I need to set up my office in my, what is my now my craft room that has become my office. I need to get a desk, which is why I'm going to Ikea and set it up. So I grabbed a few things 
for that purpose and just because we finally got our crafter square wall a whole aisle of just crafter square and i wanted to share with you some of the things i found so first and foremost for my desk i needed a red apple what you doing bug i don't know what he's doing um because it's glass and it's like opalescent over it and I just love it. I should have got Sarah one for her desk because she's a teacher. Now I picked up two of these frames. They're glass and you just smush the picture between and they have a uh, tripod. I grabbed two of those. I have a larger one too that matches that. Um, I got a couple notebooks. Remember I like the spiral. So this one had and they're cats. I mean please. So I grabbed these. I love these for couponing and making lists. So I grabbed two of those and I found one of these perpetual calendars. Um, I want to do something with it differently though. I just don't know what, but I have it. So I want to like paint it or do something differently and then use it. So I grabbed one of those. What you doing, Deb? Hey buddy, what are you doing? He sleeps like a butterball with his arms back. All right. Um, I grabbed one of these. It is for craftiness. It's a, uh, you can use it as a grime guard when you're cross stitching. You can put it around, it'll hold your fabric, but it keeps your hands from touching your fabric. So I need to wash that. Um, if you know I love these, I grabbed another pack. I grab them when I see them. And these are great little containers. They're nice and low profile, which is what I enjoy for that. Oh, look at this. This is sticky notes. It is a notebook and then sticky notes. I love it. And then it folds up and there's Velcro when you're, when it's out of its plastic and it's all the plants. So I thought that is perfect because you know, I love a good notebook. I take a lot of notes. Um, I picked up one more pair of these and these are for an, something I'm doing for Christmas for somebody, an advent calendar that is going to have 25 days of crafty stuff. So here's one item for that. I know it's early. Sorry I said Christmas, but it's true. I'm starting. So here's an item. This is, these are, um, detailed like fussy cut scissors. They're great. Little, they got a nice pointy tip. And a short blade and if you're flying and do some kind of crafts like knitting stitching and they kind of cross stitch or whatever these can go on the plane the blade is less than four inches so that can go on the aeroplane i grabbed two of these um one for me and one for that person these are silicone fingertips i will show you with this one because this will be mine so um if you remember back in the day the rubber fingers to move paper so you don't lick same concept except for therefore when you hot glue you can take your finger whatever finger you're going to use and push into the glue it won't stick to the silicone and it won't burn your finger genius genius i tell you and these are 100 percent silicone so the hot glue or whatever hot thing you're touching won't stick to it and they won't melt these are fabulous and these were in the crafter square so i got two of those the only thing i don't love is everything is coming in pink but whatever so one for me one for them i got a little doodad tray that says enjoy the journey and it's a bicycle and i love that and it'll sit on my desk to hold like clips and paper you know clips and things um they had crayola dry erase markers that i need because i'm going to get a dry erase board for my office and I also enjoy this for when I do my grocery hauls and these were a dollar and that's I think a fabulous price for Crayola so I grabbed those um I got for me and I feel like there's one missing some little pet notes and it says catitude and I swear I got a dog one for the for Sarah but I don't I don't see it so maybe I didn't I don't know um, labels I picked up for organizing and labeling things. They're chalkboard and they are like a wooden 
chipboard and so you can use erasable chalk paint or white permanent marker and write what you want and then hang these on things and these are fabulous i like these a lot um i got this and this is crafter square jewel border stickers look at that isn't that pretty i just thought they were pretty for some type of decoration or whatnot they're cute so i grabbed them because they were there um i yeah i don't see those for her oh here is this chalk writer wet erasable chalk pens we're gonna try these this is crafter square nope this is craft decor but it is a greenbrier product so i grabbed that i grabbed some of these wooden stickers um I'm going to take this sticker off the back and glue magnets on and use them for my cross stitching as a needle minder because I think they're fun for summer. And then I got some fruit to try. We'll just try it and see how they go. Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. I got to see what I'm missing here. Okay. Guys, I kind of went a little nuts. It's been a while, apparently. Um, they had in the same crafter square these metal paint brushes, which I love these for applying glue and then tossing these away because they're not a good quality paintbrush. I'm not painting with these, but to apply like a paint or a bondo or some kind of primer or sealer, these are good to spread it out and then I can just throw them away. I mean, you could wash them, but a lot of that you have to use, like, especially if you're using, like, stain or something, you got to use, like, an um, alcohol or gasoline-based cleanser, and I don't really want to do that. So I just use these. I don't use them a lot, but they're, I would consider these a disposable paintbrush. Then they had these two things, and what is hysterical is I own this. I bought it on Amazon, not for a dollar, but it's the exact same tool and this is for embossing paper um there's a little ball point on the end and if you draw it through your paper it helps you crease it better so this is a paper crafting tool and then they had another one and this one is piercing and scoring so similar but it's pokey and when i use my cricut i need pokey so i thought these would be great in my cross space and again it's all pink but that's okay um, so yeah, they're just pokey tools. I keep them with my Cricut and I'm able to use them for paper crafting, which I think is fabulous. I got these, um, because duh, enjoy the ride. And look at that one. It's the little things in life. And these are adorable, just like they are. And when I get my craft room up or my office going, I'm going to hang these somewhere near my desk or on my wall somewhere. I don't know. Almost done. Almost. Okay. Chalkboard. At the Dollar Tree, guys. I don't think it's a great quality chalkboard. I'm not using it for a chalkboard. I'm going to cross stitch something and attach it with glue. I've got this one and another one. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and I'll stain them. Again, for cross-stitching, I grabbed these rings. These are great for my floss to hang. And these are their book rings. They have a million uses. So I always try to keep some on hand, and I was out. So I grabbed these two sizes for that. Um, they also have this chalkboard container thingy. Ooh. It's not quite, it's got a tripod in the back, so it stands, and I'm also, can make a sign with that, so I thought that was fabulous. Um, I grabbed some Google, and I love this stuff. I keep it under my kitchen sink, it gets all the labels and things off, which is interesting, because now they sell a glue and residue eraser. I'm very curious to try this out. Let's see what texture this is, because this is mine. Ooh. It feels like the sole of a shoe. That's what it feels like. I mean, it's very rough, but I bet you 
it'll get um, like on glass, the sticky. We're gonna see. So between these two things, I should be able to get the glue off the thing, off the glass. I grabbed some double-sided tape because who doesn't need that in their crafting world? And they also have glue dots, which I love. Both of these for paper crafts or anything like that. Um, in the ribbon section, I found some fun ribbon just for crafting. Um, also, they have these little trays. I grabbed two of them. One is sitting over on my end table. I need to paint it. And then I'm using it for like cross stitching tools and stuff. But I thought these were adorable. Um, oh, here, let's peel that off. Oh, I didn't leave any goo behind. I was going to try my goo eraser. A little treasure chest. Look at this. I think my little cousin will enjoy creating something out of that. Just thought it was so sweet. I grabbed some dowel rods. These are larger than the ones they had before. I think these are like 12 inches. Yeah, 12 inches long. So that's great to have something a little longer for crafting. A lot of this stuff, I have no idea what I'm doing with it. I just knew I needed it in my life and I wanted to show you. And then I found these for my desk. They're clear. And these are great for putting craft projects in, but mostly on my desk. They're going to hold papers and supplies for when I'm working at home. Because I do have notes and things and notebooks and stuff that I need. So I grab that to sit on my desk. And that is everything. I feel so good to be back at the Dollar Tree. I'm super excited um, to see what else we find. But I just wanted to share what I got so far. I'm putting things away, guys. I just wanted to share what I found so far. And my plans with what the stuff is. But right now, what I'm planning is grabbing some of these little things for a gift. They're going to be a 25-day advent calendar. I'm going to go to the craft store and get other stuff too. Um, but these were good items. I'll put a note that this is for hot glue. These are cute scissors. The person that I'm getting these for does a lot of crafting as well as scrapbooking. So there'll be some markers and pens and scrapbooking stuff and she will enjoy it and it will be great. But I need to start now because it's May, June, July, and then we're halfway to Christmas. And like my new necklace, I got this in my last, I shut off the cat lady box. I think I told you that, but this was... Here we go. It's a little cat charm. And I got a ring another month. This is one of the things that the last box that I got. So I thought that was fun. All right. I got to put all this stuff away. And I hope you have a good one. And I will talk to you later.